Hi, Laura wants it here. I'm going to do a walkthrough of my daughter's uh, pregnancy album. So this is when I was pregnant with my daughter. And um, I'm posting this in honor of a friend of mine who I just found out is pregnant and I'm so excited for her. <laughs> so um, I hope that if she, if you're watching, you are inspired by this. So I opened the album with a letter to my daughter, which I often will open albums, um, mini books or layouts or whatever with letters to my daughter. And this was written... Um, before I was pregnant. So this was, I got pregnant, I think, I found out I was pregnant probably like three weeks after that I wrote this letter. But we had been um, kind of struggling with infertility and so I wasn't sure, you know, if I was ever gonna have a child. So I wrote Dear Baby and I talked about how, um, kind of our journey to deciding to have a child and then our journey with fertility and um, like I wrote, wherever we find you, however you find us, I know one thing, we love you. So I wasn't sure if we were gonna adopt, like I didn't know what was gonna happen, but I was writing it to my future child. And so um, the finally sort of refers to, we're finally deciding to try, which was really the beginning of the journey was the decision to um, start trying. And so obviously there's not a lot to photograph at that point. So looking at baby stuff with my mother-in-law, the ovulation, all that kind of stuff. I was at Half Price Books and found a little note in a book and it was talking, it was clear that whoever had written it was struggling with infertility, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, not cool that they were struggling, but cool that I found it. And um, a business card of our reproductive doctor, chat in the waiting room, like just little snippets of that journey. And then this is the page of the day that I found out I was pregnant. Um, I was very excited, obviously. <laughs> Uh, this was how I told uh, my lifelong best friend that I was pregnant. She has a daughter named Emmeline, so I put a post-it on my belly and sent that to her. Um, and then this sort of tells the story of that day. And my sweet, adorable, perfect husband got this cake for me. Uh, <laughs> It was like a month in, I said that I wanted some cake. And so he went to uh, Kroger and had them make a cake that said five weeks and let the cravings begin, which I thought was very, very sweet. Oh, and this was my um, my friend from over here uh, sent my, sent baby, Ellie, a letter, which I thought was really sweet. And this was our fertility doctor, obviously very excited about him because he helped me get pregnant. This is all the stuff my husband brought home from work. He's a librarian, like all the movies and books to about pregnancy, our ultrasound photos. Um, this was something that my husband's parents sent us, which I thought was really sweet. Her, my first gift, Ellie's first gift. Um, so I was, I did, you know, pictures every four weeks. So that's um, as my belly's growing. And again, writing letters. I wrote letters throughout the pregnancy. I, I didn't do it on any official timetable, but just every so often. Um, this was us registering a, a baby blanket that I made. My mom promised a trip to Disney in, her, in my Easter basket. Um, another letter here. I went maternity clothes shopping. So this is all the outfits I got. And that's me and my mom at the store. And this is um, Chad, my husband, gave me... Um, a Mother's Day card, which I thought was sweet. And so my mother-in-law had three boys and always wanted a girl. And so we were playing Scrabble and she made her letters do that because we knew if we had a girl, we were gonna name her Ellie. And so she was trying to make sure that I would have a girl, which it clearly worked because I did have a girl. And so um, all of this, you know, I was um, obviously working on while I was pregnant. It was a really good project for me while I was pregnant because I just had so much nervous energy and it was like a place to put it. And as I was making this album, I was actually making uh, the album that would soon be my daughter's first year album as well. And I, again, I didn't know the gender for most of the time. So I just was, I just picked collections that were sort of gender neutral. And everybody at the baby shower guessed whether it was gonna be a boy or girl. And so this is everybody's guesses. Um, my Aunt Becky was completely right. She was eight pounds on October 12th, 2014, and it was Ellie a girl, so that was pretty impressive. Again, handwriting, I love handwriting. So this is the list of gifts. This is my mom's handwriting, which just makes me feel so happy. I love my mom's handwriting, because <laughs> it reminds me of my childhood. And so this, um, so, I was one of the last people in my friend group to have a baby. And so this is all of my friend's kids. And so I'd watched all of my friends raise kids and 
you know, was excited for them, but jealous because I wanted one, obviously. So this kind of gives a snapshot of like, a lot of these people are her friends now and kind of sort of the age that they were when I was pregnant with her, which I sort of like that. This is when we found out that she was a girl. I wrote a letter. Finally, I had a name to say, Dear Ellie. This was the picture that we made to post on social media. We had a dog at the time and he was a boy. So we said things were about to get even. And then, cause you know, the boys and the girls, you get it. This is us working on the nursery, which was extremely fun. Filling out forms with the doctor. <laughs> Um, she got her first library card. My husband sent me a screenshot of that. Going to uh, what's birth class, whatever it's called, baby birthing class. Um, went to visit my brother in Chicago, and my dad fell asleep in the Land of Nod store, which I thought was hysterical. These are the three ultrasounds. I remember like looking at these and thinking, oh my gosh, there's something wrong. Cause you know, she obviously looks very <laughs> alien and they told us that, but still, you know, it's just not how you imagine you'll see your baby the first time. And I was very proud of myself for that little wooden thing. I thought it was cute to put the little wooden on top of the big wooden. This is uh, from my baby shower that my uh, friend threw me. So this is like the little thing she had on the cake and this is the invitation. And this is my friend that we were pregnant at the same time um, and we were also, our moms were pregnant with us at the same time, which was kind of a fun thing. We've been pregnant, we've been friends for that long. And this is all the gifts. Again, I love the handwriting, um, writing out everything. I love all the details. This was the coolest shower. It was a, was a theme. Rain drops, drops something. <laughs> Why is it's escaping my brain right now? But something about raindrops. Oh, baby shower. That's right. It was like shower. The theme was showers. And then everybody made a wish for Ellie and uh, blew on glitter. And my friend that threw the shower took a picture of everybody blowing it. And um, then they wrote down what their wish was, which I just love this so much. And then I had I have three showers total. So then this was my work shower. And I was the most pregnant at this shower, which is kind of fun to watch, you know, how time passes. This is a funny story. I was walking with my husband real late at night. I mean, not real late at night. It was probably like eight or nine. And a cop uh, pulled over and made us, he said he didn't think it was safe for me to be walking on the road. And so I had to get in the back of a cop car, <laughs> which is pretty wow. And that's the business card of my OBGYN. I like little details like that. That's, I think the first time I had to fill out a form and uh, write what her actual name was, which was pretty cool. And then this is just a little casual photo shoot that me and my husband did in her nursery. I loved this nursery so much. It was like my happy place. I just thought that it was the most magical place. It's crazy to look back how swollen my face was. And this is a photo shoot that my friend did for me. And this is a drawing that my husband did of he and I and our dog, which I thought was really sweet. And then he paper, he cut out like paper pieced it on another thing and it's framed in her room. Oh my gosh, my feet are so swollen. Hmm. All the pills I had to take, that's a little detail that I like. That I have and this was 9 28 14 and she was born 10 12 so this is about two weeks before I had her uh, we did a little photo shoot outside of our we lived in an apartment at the time so and then this is a letter that I wrote to her let's see eight days before she was born and um, I just love that I have these letters because it's so telling of like where I was emotionally and um, it's just really cool I just love this snapshot so Thank you so much for watching and if you're pregnant or going to get pregnant or going to have adopt or anything about a child i definitely encourage you to document that journey because it's um, a story worth telling